Welcome back to Mountain Views. Right off the bat this evening, we are going to bring to the stage a healthcare specialist who is doing wonderful work for folks all over the inter Intermountain West on behalf of low vision, extreme low vision problems. I'd like to say hello and welcome to the stage, Dr. Jared Cooper. Jared, how are you? Thank you, Terry. Good Very to good. see you. Good nice to, see you, to sir. see you. So tell us a little bit about your practice and what kind of work that you're doing for Absolutely. folks. Absolutely. I am a doctor that's a low vision specialist, meaning that I work with people that have severe vision impairment. In fact, I'm usually the last person in the in the line of uh, health care to be able to help people once their, their uh, ocular disease process gets to a certain point. Uh -huh. There's a lot of things that we can do to actually get people to see better that many of them don't even know what their options are. And so that's what I'm doing at this point. I see. So do you work in conjunction with folks who are bringing uh, referrals to you of people that are kind of at the end of the line? I as do. It, as it I were, vision-wise? Uh, absolutely. Yes. I see. And uh, you mentioned that you're here, but you're, you've also got offices all over the place, huh? I do, yeah. I actually see patients clear from Logan to St. George here in Utah. Wow. But I also have offices that are in Boise, and we're opening up offices in Billings in Missoula, Montana soon. No kidding. Now, you look like a very young man. How is it that you managed to get such a, such a wide footprint in such a seemingly short period of time? You just work. There you go. No secret to it. You just put in the hours put in the study and pretty soon you have people that uh, start to find out that you actually are able to help them and uh, it seems like all of a sudden the business grows and the patients grow and people are happy. I would imagine that word travels when when somebody has a, a breakthrough experience of it being able to experience the world visually again. It definitely does. Many of them, like I said, have they don't realize that there's an option out there to improve and enhance their vision and so once they find that out once they're able to see things again, the word definitely travels. Excellent. Well, we've got some uh, examples here, and I wanted to, to pull one of these, a couple of these out, and Absolutely. have you explain a little bit about what you do with these glasses in order to achieve such, such gains in vision for folks. Absolutely. This is kind of a larger style of glasses, as you can see. Um, what we call this is a full diameter telescope. This works excellent for people that want to be able to see things better, like their television. We can actually convert them into a pair of reading glasses. Um, there's a whole variety of hmm. things that we can do with this. The major complaints that I get from my patients is that they feel like that they no longer can do things such as reading, which they miss. Another thing is, is that they have a difficult time even being able to recognize people's faces unless that they get very close to them. With special glasses like this, we're actually able to enhance that vision, allow them to see across the room, see people's faces, be able to recognize them and do a whole variety of things. And that's, and that's how these type of glasses work. They do look a little bit different, but the reason that they look a bit different is because each pair of glasses has between six and eight lenses inside of them to get them to do the things that they're supposed to do. So, so this particular pair of glasses has not just one big lens, but actually multiple lenses. There's several lenses inside of this to get this to work. In fact, they loosely work like a prescription pair, if you could imagine that, right. of binoculars. But as you can see, they're only three quarters of an inch and so what we can do is we can put that on a pair of glasses and then be able to uh, project the vision onto parts of the eyes that are more healthy than when it's confined to a specific area that the disease has caused destruction to. I see. Well, at the risk, and I don't mean to uh, take any of this lightly because it's a beautiful message, but I think our viewers would demand that I uh, Please model do. these. You're going to look great. See how we look? Absolutely. Now, what you can see, yes, they look a little bit different, but when somebody that has normal vision, what it does is it greatly enhances and magnifies and brings things up closer. Now to somebody that has an eye disease such as macular degeneration, and it's actually projecting the vision onto healthier portions of the eye. Well, that's interesting. So it's really kind of redirecting it's bringing, yes, in fact, it's bringing Image it up closer and it's, it's putting it onto the peripheral sides of the eye, 
with many of the eye diseases, the destruction actually is occurring right in the central vision, or excuse me, the central retina. So what we're doing is we're pulling it up closer and bringing it out to the sides. Now with some diseases, we actually do the opposite. There's diseases like glaucoma, retinitis pigmentosa, and a whole variety of things. Mm -hmm. Now we actually have glasses that can help people do this. But they're all prescription-based. None of these are over-the-counter. The glasses that I brought in for you today, they have no other prescription inside of them, but we do customize them for every single patient that we see. I see. Now, do you do the fabrication on these glasses yourself, or is this a, or do you more design the, the need and then farm out the, the construction, or how does that work? Absolutely. What I do is I start to calculate the prescription, the amount of magnification, and what we do is we have a company that does all the construction of it. I just present them with what the prescription is and what they need to do to, to get people to see better. I see. This one won't fit very good because that's a demo. It's a beautiful frame. If you it look is a nice at frame. It. I, you know, I, as far I picked as these up because I, I felt somehow attracted <laughs> to them. <laughs> they don't look bad. This Terry is a little bit different. As you can see, these telescopes are quite a bit smaller. We put right. a regular prescription here in the bottom, and we also can turn them into automatic sunglasses. For many diseases, the uh, the sun causes um, a great deal of problems. It right. makes people not see very well, and also, once we have damage to the eye, we want to protect the eye from the UV light as much as possible. Okay. This would have a regular prescription that's down here in the bottom, Okay. And then when they choose to look through the telescopes, they tilt their heads down slightly, and they can view through the telescope. It's almost like an upside-down bifocal. I was going to say, it. it kind of occurs to me that this is sort of a, a bifocal on, uh, on very powerful vitamins and minerals. There huh? you go. Yeah. So, so as you, you can see, see here, and then if they needed to spot something, boom, it's right there in front of them. Huh. But these are all. I can see how you would get used to that. That's right. Most patients say it takes about two weeks to get used to, but the fact is, is when you have no other option of being able to see, you get that motivation that yeah, I am absolutely. going to make this absolutely. work. Absolutely. And you know, I just brought a couple of pair of glasses, but this isn't the only thing that we can do. Um, there's a whole host and a whole variety of things that we can do to help people with severe vision loss be able to do the activities that they simply want to be able to do. And that's what low vision is. It means not having the vision to be able to do your daily activities, which is quite frustrating for people. Absolutely, absolutely. So tell us where people can learn more about you, where you're at in this area, where people can come to see you in person. You got it. Um, I have several offices throughout Utah, um, but I also, interesting enough, here in Utah I do house calls. Many of my patients also cannot travel because they don't have the vision to do it. They have to rely on someone to get to me, and so in many cases I do house calls. In fact, I've done house calls right here in Park City, oh, great. but I do have an office that's in West Jordan. I have one that's in Spanish Fork, and I have one that's in St. George. Between those, I will do house calls. When I'm out of state, typically I can't do house calls just because of uh, the logistics of it. Uh -huh. um, but we do a lot of that. Very cool. And you are online at? It's www.drdrjaredcooper.com. DrJaredCooper.com. Well, with a name like Dr. Jared Cooper, if uh, optometrics doesn't work out, I'm sure you could make yourself a Hollywood matinee idol. That's certainly a strong Let's name. <laughs> so, well, listen, man, thanks for coming on the show. Man, we appreciate, really appreciate having it. you. It's good stuff. It's great work you're doing. Really cool that you make house calls. I, I like that, but it's also good to know and good to let people know in our audience that, that you're here and that, that people can, I'm sure, as you say, be motivated to get on down and see what you can do for them. So Absolutely. best of luck for future success and uh, come back and see us again sometime. I, I would love Excellent. to. We've got more ideas. And also, if there's organizations here that want to learn more about eye health, I, uh, nutrition, any of that kind of stuff. I love to educate. I'd be more than happy to be able to meet with uh, groups of people and be able to discuss these things. Nice work. Thank you so much. Dr. Terry. Jared Cooper, personality and passion that fills the room. Good kind of guy to have around for awesome energy. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with more music, weather, and hockey on the way.